Hey everybody, welcome to the OC Homestead, I'm Donald, and uh, we're doing some routine maintenance. We're going to be changing the oil in silver. Yeah, it's named silver. So, uh, um, why do we change the oil? Well, every moving part in a vehicle has friction. And, well, inside of the engine there's bearings in there that need to get lubricated or, well, the friction would wear them out quicker. Uh, how quick? Well, let's just say if you drove without oil in your vehicle, your vehicle would be useless by the time you make it one mile down the road or less. Um, so that's why we put motor oil in every vehicle. Well, except for the electric ones, but I think they have grease and all that kind of stuff too. So, um, but we, uh, we're putting this, uh, you know, we're changing the oil in this car, this truck, excuse me. We're changing the oil in the truck uh, about every 3,500 miles. Every 3,500 miles is when we change the oil. And uh, uh, why, when we do this, you know, we extend the life of the engine. I got two trucks that are over 230,000 miles already, almost a quarter of a million miles. So uh, that it's very important if you want your engine to last long, if you want your car to last a long time, change your motor oil. Uh, with that, I asked, I actually have a question for you. Do you change your motor oil? Comment below, you know, put a comment down below and uh, uh, tell me if you change your motor oil because on your own, you know, or if you take it to a shop, you know, and, you know, what brand of motor oil do you use? That's a good question too. Comment below, let me know. All right, well, let's get started on changing the oil and silver. So what you doing? Well, I am getting ready to take out the oil drain sheet, the oil drain plug. For you. But I know you need the plug. Uh, Right? I think I've left it on the drain pan. Where? The drain pan. Hang on. Oh. No, 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 just a minute. There it is. I found it. All right, put the drain plug back in. Finish removing the old filter. Install the new oil filter. And this oil filter only needs to be hand tight. No need to crank it down. Make sure your drain plug is tight. All right, so it's good practice to let your oil filter drain for a little while. You know, a couple couple of days. If you don't have an oil can crusher, a, a oil filter crusher, or something like that that you can crush and get all the oil out of it, it's best to just let that drain. And then always, always. Dispose of your oil properly, you know, pour it out on the ground somewhere along the fence line or something like that. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. We want to put it in the streams and creeks. Uh. Now you're going to have the EPA on you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So what's that in your hand? So, while the oil was draining, I took a sample of it. And the reason why I took the sample is I'm going to be sending it off to a laboratory to do laboratory testing on it to make sure that we're not getting any uh, contaminants in the oil. And what I mean by contaminants is they're going to check for metals, which would indicate wear. They're going to also check for uh, antifreeze, which would indicate that maybe a, a seal, a, a, a gasket is gone. 
They're also going to check the um, numbers on the oil additives. These oil additives that are added inside of your motor oil to help prevent wear, they're going to check the numbers on that and report back at how much additive is still in the oil and let me know if the oil could actually have worked longer. In the past I've done these tests with uh, other synthetic oils and they said that it's good for up to 5,000 miles or more. Um, and of course I always change my oil about every 3,500 miles uh, is when we change our oil. But um, you know saying that your oil is good for up to 5,000 miles, I mean if you could save a buck by not changing your oil as much as, as often as you normally would, it could add up to some savings. But you need to know if your oil is good for that long. If you don't know your oil is good for that long, you could, again, destroy your engine. Always use a funnel when adding oil. It helps prevent you from spilling and making a mess. This is the Silverado. So how many quarts does this truck take? All right, so a good rule of thumb on oil, engine oil, is one quart for every cylinder. That's a good rule of thumb. But always consult your uh, manual, your owner's manual, or to know exactly how many quarts of oil is needed. So the question I've been asked a couple times is, does motor oil brand, uh, brand really matter? The answer is no. Also, I've been asked, if uh, um, synthetic versus conventional uh, is any better, neither one is better. I mean, it's half a dozen one, six the other, you know, type of thing. But we can say, in the sense that in the past we've used in the past we used, used royal purple royal purple which is and, a full synthetic oil and we have good very good results with that one it's very expensive and but it has to do with the additives that they add to the oil yeah um and how you know because in royal purple they have a lot of detergents in the oil that keep it clean there's uh it's been said that if you use royal purple in your engine when you first get it that you'll never break it in it's not true but that's what people say uh, but I've seen people crack open an engine that had royal purple on it, and it is like spotless compared to others. However, you're going to pay that price for that motor oil. You know, you're, you're talking you know, $17 a quart versus pinned oil at like $9 a quart right now. Mm. Actually, I could tell you better. Tell you. <laughs> How much? It's about ten dollars a quart for royal purple, and it's about seven to eight dollars for royal for pins oil. Is the the uh, five gallon five quarts? Um, there's usually about a seven to eight dollar difference, unless they have a special. Then it might be up to ten dollars a difference. They make these trucks so tall now <laughs> that it's almost near. Possible to for you and me to work on the wrong ramps. So this uh, this oil testing that I'm doing, it, they, it comes with this box to melt it in. This is the form I fill out, let them know, give them my my credit card information, stuff like that. It has an absorbent mat inside of here. Place the oil in there. Also, with the paperwork goes in there, I gotta fill it out. But it comes with a label, prepaid postage, so uh, you can just Who's throw it them again? off. Who's it with again? Um, well, I'm not going to plug them. Oh, okay. I'm not supported by them, so I'm not going to plug them, sorry. You can, uh, maybe I might ask later on in comments or something, you might be able uh, to. People already know. If you're a motorhead, you already know. Okay. <laughs> okay, you got to start it up, you check for oil pressure. Now, the next thing you do is you log it. You need to keep good logs of when you change your oil. So I know the last time we changed oil in this was on June 7th. So today is um, August 15th. And we did routine maintenance. So we did that maintenance 
the last the last oil change at seventy seven thousand two hundred seventy seven miles. Uh, the miles now is eighty two one ninety five. So got to do the math on that. It is. Um, it is Let's see. Into I, I can't do math in public. Okay. I can't do math in public. Okay, give me the number. So eighty two one ninety five. Subtract seven seven two seven seven. Four thousand nine hundred eighteen. So um, and of course I always change my oil about every three thousand five hundred miles. Uh, is when we changed our oil. 19. But, so we uh, pushed it. We, we pushed it this time. We went 5,000 miles on the. But the truck out. didn't yell at us yet. So we're. But. So. Uh, I feel bad. A little, little bit farther so than we next, normally go. Our next oil change is going to be in 3,500 miles, is what I'm going to put down here. So. Uh, 8. Uh, let's see here. Here, I'll help three. you. Just me. My math isn't always that great either. Well, I, I, can, do I can do this in my head, can't I? I can do this in my head, can't I? <laughs> Where um, we at? Eight, let's eight. see here. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, <laughs> let me see here. Uh, I'm going to add three to two. So, let's see, two, three, four, five, five. Uh, and then five to one, that's six. And then nine, five. So, 85,695. Oh. <laughs> All right. So eighty-six thousand so 86, would probably be the farthest you want to go. <laughs> yes, eighty-six thousand. <laughs> so thank you for watching. I hope this was <laughs> inform informal. You think? Yeah. Anyhow, please like this video, subscribe, and do what? Give a thumbs up. Thumbs up, and hit the notification bell. Hit the notification bell if you like these videos. Thanks for watching.